So, I've been trying to fix this MacBook for a while now. <laughs> and I'm booting it up in verbose mode here so you guys can see the error. Should start coming up here pretty soon. Uh, well, first it does pause uh, for a while on this waiting for DSMOS. Sometimes it pauses on the um, SDXC thing for a while, sometimes not. But here we go. So it's basically going to create an infinite uh, number of errors that just increment the process number to say open directory D, too many corpses being created. And I've spent hours <laughs> trying various fixes that I could find online. Um, you know, adding like this Etsy RC server file and all, ki all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, moving, you know, kex files to an unsupported folder, whatever, but to no avail. Um, so I tried the command R to boot into recovery mode. I did a reinstall. Same error. I said, okay, I'll try internet recovery mode. So I did option command R, did a reinstall. This is... This is after that. Same freaking thing. And I really can't find too much information beyond what I've already found. Uh, as far as this specific error. And all I can figure is that Apple, uh, you know, forced a security update to address Spectre and Meltdown. And, uh, because the, the Mac was working fine. Uh... She was copying uh, pictures off her iPhone, shut it down, went to the movies, came back, uh, went to turn it on. The progress bar would go hella slow, like minutes and minutes, until it would um, reach full, um, you know, 100%, but then it would just sit there. And we left it overnight, still there, so I, you know, I booted into Verbo's mode, saw this. Now, I can boot into single user mode. I can use, you know, I can run commands. I can boot into the recovery partition and, you know, use terminal. And all the files are still on the hard drive. I've done the Apple diagnostics test or whatever. Uh, option D or command D, whatever the hell it is. And that came back fine. So, I'm not really sure what the hell is going on with this thing. And, um, just wondering if you guys have any ideas. I think, basically, all I've found so far is the people that have had this error have said they've had to completely wipe the, you know, erase the drive and do a clean install. So, I think that's the next step. Um, I, like I said, I was able to, uh, use the terminal from the recovery uh, partition to copy all their files over to an external hard drive so I have that still just kind of a pain in the ass um, have you guys run into this air <laughs> any help would be very appreciated thanks <laughs>